Hey folks, Mac T here at Mac T's Garage. And as always, I got a continuing thing going on these uh, uh, TSBs and everything else. And uh, this one's really not completely related to a lot of things I do. But it is a TSB, Technical Service Bulletin 19-2121. And it is primarily directed at the 2015 through 2019 F-150. That's right, F-150's got a couple of problems uh, dealing with it. And it is an updated uh, TSB because of a problem that uh, the prior TSB didn't quite catch. And that was a TSB 19-2019 that uh, did have a few issues going on with it. But anyway, some 2015 through 2019 F-150 vehicles equipped with a 3.3, 3.5 Duratex, 3.5 EcoBoost, 5 liter engine equipped with block heaters built on before 1 January 2019 may exhibit lack of heat concern from the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning HVAC system when operating the vehicle consistently in temperatures that are below minus 20 Celsius or 4 degrees Fahrenheit. And this condition may be due to deposits from the engine coolant becoming trapped in the heater core. To correct the condition, you must flush the cooling system and replace the heater core. Now that's pricey, folks. Hope you got a warranty on this because guess what? You're gonna have to pull the dash apart to get at this bad boy, and that's gonna be pricey. And I can tell you for a fact, based on this TSB, that is one, two, three, four pages long. That's right, and most of it is parts. There are a lot of parts that are gonna be involved in this, so if you don't have a warranty on this, be ready to pay. Yeah, those duckies are going to come out of your pocket. But basically, uh, a lack of heat and everything else, and you got a blocked heater. Why is it? Why is it blocked? Well, the coolant they used. The coolant is the primary source of concern because the coolant is causing corrosion, and it, then it builds up and breaks free, and it blocks the heater core. So this uh, comes down to a point where, hey, do I need to change my uh, coolant out? Whatever coolant you have in there right now needs to go. And uh, you need to get rid of that coolant uh, for, for your F-150. Now, what is the coolant you have in your F-150, you ask? And it is uh, basically, let's see, I got F-150. You got the orange uh, coolant that is in there. So, uh, guess what, folks? Got another notice for you. Ford has ditched the orange coolant. <laughs> and guess what? Ford put orange coolant in a lot of vehicles. Uh, I got a whole nother video I'm going to do on the coolants on this. But, folks, if you got orange coolant, flush it out. Use a, use a good flushing uh, kit and uh, distilled water and replace it. Uh, with another coolant. I personally like Peak. Uh, it's a universal coolant and it runs great for me, but uh, yeah, avoid that. Orange is gone, folks. Ford's not even selling it anymore from what the rumors are. So uh, yeah, they're saying to change over to a yellow or something like that. So uh, yeah, get it taken care of. But as far as this goes, uh, you, if you have a Basically, as a TSB goes, 3.3, 3.5 Duratec with the block heater and lack of heat when operating temperatures below 4 degrees uh, Fahrenheit and built on it before 1 January 2019. So that covers the orange. That's pretty much the orange there. Now, they have a whole list, and I'll put it at the end of the video so you can see uh, all this that is going on. They have a list of parts and then they have descriptions of what to do for every operation. We're talking here hours for the job folks. Warranty work or whatever they're going to charge you. Uh, 2015 through 2017 at 7.7 .7 hours. 2015 uh, other ones it's 8.2 hours, 8.5, 9.1 hours for the 5 liter 
and the five liter again 9.4 hours so the five liter is going to cost you more than the uh, 3.5 Duratex will and the EcoBoost uh, and the 3.3 so uh, overall those of you who have the 5.0 five are going to end up paying more money more work involved uh, the service procedures are quite lengthy there's 44 steps to their service procedures again that is a very long service procedure that they list. I'm not going to read it to you. I'll post it up in uh, at the end of the YouTube. Uh, I'll post that up there so you guys can read it at your will in sections to see what you're going to be doing. But uh, yeah, this TSB is going to be quite uh, the pain if you have a blocked heater core. So uh, I highly recommend what you do is you jump on out there and start flushing your system and uh, replacing that with a different type of coolant. Uh, Ford, I think, is going to the yellow coolant for this. But like I said, you know, you can take an aftermarket coolant that's a universal co coolant and uh, do just as well. I've been running peak in my engines for three, four hundred thousand miles without problems water pump wise or anything else so it does work and it is definitely worth the effort to take and uh, get them things flushed out so if you got an F-150 or even any other Ford vehicle with the orange coolant ditch it folks get it cleaned out and uh, replace it with whatever Ford specs or go with an aftermarket coolant like I do like Peak I'm not a sponsor of Peak but I have found that uh, you know, I got two water pumps on a Duratec that made it a combination of over 600,000 miles uh, with peak coolant without a water pump failure. So something's going right. Anyway, whether the coolant has that big, big of a deal to it, I don't know. All I know is my results. So uh, that's the TSB on this. I hope you, uh, you know, take warning, take heed, and know what's going on and uh, protect yourself from uh, something by getting that coolant flushed out now rather than waiting because if you wait you could end up paying quite a pretty penny to get that fixed upwards towards uh, nine plus hours of uh, labor not to mention the parts and everything else and the vehicles down for a pretty lengthy time because I doubt they're going to get it done in one day it's probably a two day deal if not more if they're waiting for parts it could be a week so uh, yeah get that thing taken care of hope this TSP helps you and like I said check on the follow on his Mag T Mag T's garage remember like subscribe join all that good stuff I beg of you please watch the videos this is a rather yeah, new channel uh, needs some help uh, to watch videos and get numbers up you guys can help me by watching the videos clicking on ads and all that good stuff give me bonuses so yeah believe it or not if you click on an ad that gives me a little bit further up that, you know, they pay more for that so you know click on the ad it only takes a couple seconds hey I give you the information uh, that ain't cost you anything so uh, you know help me out that's all I'm asking and uh, other things that you may want to do is check out the band of one he's gonna play some music for you at the end of this uh, also my feet hit the floor today I'm having a great day and I want you to have a great day too and Mercy Grills always got a couple one-liners and I'll see what else I can toss at the end thank you for watching Mac T's videos and remember to like and subscribe this is a Mercy Go production